So you've just imported your first trades into Edgewonk. What do you do next? In this video, we show you nine things you can do after you've imported your first trades to get the most out of your Edgewonk trading journal and to unlock some of the most helpful features. So when we go to our journal, we see that we have a bunch of trades that you have imported, but some of the important inputs that you can make are not there yet because your broker doesn't know them. So for that, we can go first to our settings and we want to add trade comments because they will unlock some of the most helpful features and you will be able to do a qualitative analysis. So here we have three categories, entry comments, trade management and exit comments. And with those, you can rate your entries and that way you can then find out where are your strengths, where are your weaknesses, what is working well, what isn't working so well, and you can work targetedly on your weaknesses and do more of what's working. In the beginning, we recommend to keep it simple. Don't enter too many entry, exit and trade management comments. Focus on the basics. To add a new comment, we just have to click here on the add icon. Then we have a new row. And the first one we can name perfect entry. Because this describes a positive trading behavior, we can assign a positive rating to it. Next, we add the early entry comment. And because this shows a negative behavior, we have to assign the negative rating. We also want to tag late entries. So when we are chasing the price or we have missed the initial entry, that also is negative. And we could also add a revenge trading one. And this is also, of course, negative. Those four comments should cover most of the entry scenarios. If you have more ideas, you can obviously add them as well. But in the beginning, we recommend to really keep it to a minimum. And now we do the same for the trade management and the exit comments. For the trade management, those four comments should cover most of the trade management scenarios. We have one positive attribute, a neutral one where we didn't manage the trade and two negative ones. And those are four exit comments that should work for most scenarios. We have a positive exit, two negative ones and a neutral one. So what do you do with them? We go back to the journal and now you can assign them to your trades. The easiest way to do this is just scroll to the right. And then here you see the three empty columns, entry, trade management and exit column. And you can just click on individual cells and this will bring up the drop down menu with the four tags that we have just created. And we can just assign them here on the fly. The tags have different font colors. Green describes a positive attribute, red a negative one and black is the neutral comment. So assuming we have two positive ones and a neutral one, when we scroll now back to the left, we see our tilt meter is now coming to life. It's green because we have more positive comments assigned to this trade than negative ones. Another way of adding comments would be when you open the trade and then here under advanced trade data, you have the trade entry comment dropdowns and you can also assign them here right away. You can also add a new comment directly here. So when we are searching or typing something in here, as we type, we can see this row comes up and this shows us that this is a new comment that we have not used yet and we can directly add a rating here. So add the red rating, a negative one here and you can see it's here now and when we save it, this is a red tilt meter because when we scroll to the right, for this trade we have two negative comments and one positive. So we have more negative than positive comments for this trade and that's why the tilt meter is red. After you've assigned some comments to your trades, this will start unlocking some helpful features. So we can go, for example, to our chart lab and then we go to our trade comments. And here by default, we start with the trade entry comments and you can see that we have our perfect entry and the invalid trade comment here that we have assigned. When you hover over the areas, you can see there's one trade. The total profit is 151. We can also change that and go to our trade exit comments. Here you can see we have our early entry and our end of day and the same is true here for our trade management and we've only assigned one comment to two trades. As you assign more comments to more trades, you will get more data out of this graph. The comments will also unlock the efficiency and the efficiency graph shows you how well you're executing your trades. So how well are you following your trading plans or are you making mistakes? The higher the efficiency, the more you're following your trading plans. The lower the efficiency, the more you have broken your rules. So if you assign more negative comments to your trades, this will reduce the efficiency. More positive comments will increase the efficiency. Because we've only assigned comments to two trades, we only see data points for the last two trades here in this exit analysis graph. 
if you assign more comments to more trades, this will also populate the area here. You can also go to your equity graph and here we have an option to display the tilt meter. And here for the two trades where we've assigned comments, you will start seeing the tilt meter. You will often see very interesting correlations and very often you will be able to see that your equity graph is rising when the tilt meter is rising. And this shows you the direct connection between making good trading decisions and seeing an improvement in your trading performance. For many traders, this can be a big aha moment when they start really seeing the direct connection. Next, we should assign setups. When you're importing your trades, there's only one setup applied to all of the trades that you're importing because your broker obviously doesn't know which setup belongs to which trade. For that, we can again go to our settings and then here we have a setups area. For now, we only have one setup, but we can of course add new ones here. Now we have four setups. Each setup has also a description field. So when you click into this area here, this will become writable and you can write some comments here about this setup. A great tip is to also have a no setup name here because there might be instances where you are taking a trade that doesn't follow your rules and it's very helpful to identify those trades later on and to see how often do you deviate from your plan. We can go back to the journal and in the setup column we can assign new setups here. So we can do this through the drop down as we have done with the comments but we can also open the trade and then here the third drop down is the setup and you can see those are the four setups. We can also directly type in new setups here and create them on the fly. So we want to have this one, we save it and now you can see we have a new setup here. We can add the setups here as we go through this. By the way, as you make more inputs, it will also change the filters here. So here are the basic filters. You have your instrument, but you also have your setups. So if you want to filter for specific setups, you can do that here using the filters. The filters for the comments are here under advanced and you can see we have our entry, exit and trade management comments. You can also change the order, by the way, of how the setups appear. So when we go back to our settings and going back to our trade comments, we can drag them around. So assuming we want to have an order that looks something like that, where perfect is the first one and revenge trading is the second one, we can do that when we go to our trade and when we go back to our comments, we should see the new order now here. So let's go to this trade and you can see perfect and revenge trading is here and the new order is also here in the filters. So that's how you can customize the order and your journaling experience even further. A small input field that will make a huge difference is the OTP hit. So we go to our trade, we open it and under advanced we have this input here, OTP hit. When you hover over you see this text that says, was the initial target hit before the initial stop was hit? It's a very simple question, you can only answer it with yes or no. This is completely independent from where you took your actual exit. So you look at your trade, you look at where you placed your stop loss and where you placed your target. And regardless of where you actually exited the trade, you just have to see did the price first hit the stop loss or the target. And then you give this a yes or no answer. And this input will then unlock one of the most powerful features in Edgewonk, which is the trade management graph. And this will show you if your trade management decisions are effective. So this typically means traders will find out if they're exiting their winners too early, if they are letting their losses run too late, maybe they're trailing their stop loss too aggressively and then price takes them out before the price has a chance to reach their target. And this is what the trade management graph will identify for you. We made separate videos on the trade management graph and you can check them on our YouTube. But making this simple input with the OTP hit will unlock this great feature and it will be very helpful for you later on. Another thing we recommend is to add screenshots to your trades. So when you open the trade under screenshots, you have six slots for screenshots. You can select screenshots from your browser. So if you click on select file, you will be taken to the browser explorer window and then you can attach images directly from your computer. If you're using TradingView, you can just paste the TradingView URL into this field and then it will also automatically be attached to your trade. Having screenshots comes in very handy during later analyses when you go back through your trades and you want to evaluate different strategies. We just made a video on the alternative strategies, which is also a very great and helpful feature. If you want to test variations to your strategy, 
I mean, having a screenshot will be a big time saver and it will help you make your analyses much more efficiently. Also, it's just a very good way of keeping track of your progress and working on your pattern recognition because after you have entered your screenshots, you can go to your reports and then under chart book, that's where you will then find all of your screenshots in a gallery view. So you can watch all of your trade screenshots one by one, go through them and see how you have traded in the past. It's a very great way of keeping records of your trades. To customize your trading journal even further, we have a feature which we call the custom statistics. And you can add up to 20 categories of tags and they are fully customizable. So we go to our settings and then here you can see it custom statistics. And here are the 20 slots that you have. Some are already named, you can see that time frame, confluence, pattern, preparation, mental, indicator. You can rename them as well. So you just click in here and you can give this some other name here if you want to change a category. And then you can add new tags here. So for example, we want to track the timeframes. And then we just add the different timeframes that we want to track here. And then we can use those tags in our trade inputs to tag our trades. So after you've added the time frame, you can go back to your journal and you go a little bit to the right. And then here you can see the time frame custom statistic will appear. We can click in this field and then you see the four options that we have just created. And then you can add different time frames to the trade. You can also multi-select comments here. So if you have a custom statistic where more than one can apply to a trade, you can do that here. Of course, when you open a trade, you can also go to the advanced trade data. And now after you've added a custom statistic, it will appear here and you can make the changes and add the tags here. You can also create new custom statistics right in your trade input. For that, we can just click on add new here and then it will bring up this input and you can create new tags. You can just add them as we've seen in the comments or in the setups and we can then add this to our trade. We save it and now it is attached to this trade as well. And then you can use our custom statistic analyses. So here you can see the custom statistic for time frame is selected and we get a breakdown of your performance. Hovering over this, we can see there are two trades which have the four hour time frame assigned, one trade with a one hour and one trade with a daily, and you can see how they are performing. You can also go to your equity graph, for example, and then look for your filters because now after we have added a custom statistic, they will also appear here and you can filter for your trades. And the filters are then applicable to all of your tabs. You can even go to the home tab and then you will only see the trades that apply to those filters. Another great way of customizing your trading journal is to add notes to your trades. When you open a trade under the regular trade data, you have this field for personal notes. You can enlarge this as well. And here you can write things that went well, mistakes that you maybe have done, things that you overlooked, things that you want to improve. And you can use that as a written diary to keep track of important events that happened or just things that stood out and that you want to write about. If you've watched our review videos where we deep dive into our customers' trading journals, you have probably seen that it can be very helpful to have notes because two, three, four, five months later after you've taken your trade, you can come back to your trade and you can remember exactly what you did there by looking at your notes. And that way you can remember milestones and other things very well about your trades later on, even months later. A little bit of a more advanced input, but also very helpful is when we open a trade, we go to the advanced trade area, and then here you have highest and lowest prices. And this will unlock things like the MAE, MFE, and also our exit analysis, where Edgewonk will then analyze for you how well you are exiting your trades. We made a separate video, which you can also view on exit analysis on our YouTube channel. And it's a very helpful feature to analyze the price behavior during your trades. So let's take a look at how this could work for this trade. It was a long trade at 2285. The exit was at 2310 and the trade was exited before the take profit. But let's assume we didn't catch the highest price, but the price would have almost gone to our take profit. Let's assume that the highest price of this trade was at 2370. We can add this here to our highest price. 
You can see the stop loss was at 2206. Let, let's assume that we didn't have a big drawdown in this trade and that the market did move a lot against us. So we can enter the lowest price here and then we save this. And now this will activate our exit analysis graph. And this is the visualization of this trade. The green part shows how much the price went into our favor. The red part shows how much the price went against us. The red part is called drawdown in Edgewonk. So we can see the drawdown is minus 45%, which means that the price made it 45% towards our stop loss. On the other hand, the green part is called updraw. You can see the updraw is at 85%, which means that the price almost made it to our target, but didn't quite reach it. And the black marker shows the exit. And you can see the exit is well below the highest observed price. So if you see that as a common theme for you, that your exit marker is generally well below the highest observed price of the trade, this should give you confidence to stay in your trades longer. Maybe you have an issue with letting winning trades run and the exit analysis graph is a very helpful feature for that. Another helpful thing is that you can start adding sessions. So sessions are just quick reviews that you can do. A lot of traders do weekly sessions in their journal. So we can add a weekly session. We first select the period for our review and for the session. So let's assume we want to trade a session for this week's of trading. We select it here and you will already see that it starts to populate. We have five trades that fall into this period for winners, one losses, 80% win rate. That's the gain. We have a positive tilt meter. We see our multiple gain and also the gain in the percentage. You can then add a category to the session. So let's assume we want to talk about emotions and we want to talk about risk management in our session. We give this session a rating. Overall, we could be very satisfied. The win rate is high, the tilt meter is green. So let's give this a four out of five rating. And here you then have a text editor. Here you can write things that stood out about your session. So what went well this week's of trading, what didn't go well. You can also set new impulses. So you can identify things that you want to improve in next week and just add helpful reminders and notes. When it comes to the format, we always recommend to use a bullet point format. It's just much easier for later reviews. So you can use this icon here and then you get an ordered list. You can write down the things that stood out that you just want to remember. And if you keep doing this week after week, over time you have a very great catalog and then you can come back to your sessions. You can follow your progress. You can see all the new impulses that you want to set, things that you have learned and just have a very structured way for your performance review. And the sessions are a great way to combine a qualitative review with a quantitative review. Quantitative means focusing on the data part and looking at the raw statistics. And the qualitative aspect looks at how you're making your decisions. It focuses more on the process oriented mindset and forces you to look at the quality of your trading decisions. And now you're set up. You're ready to use Edgewonk. You've activated the most helpful features in Edgewonk. And over time, your journal will fill with life and help you identify your edge and hopefully become a better trader.